Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul for you. It's going to be short and sweet. It's a $100 grocery haul. And what did I get? Not much, but it is what it is. So we're going to just hop right into it and get started. The first thing that I have is um, some vine tomatoes on the vine there's a six pack of those and then I have some uh, mandarins about a three pound bag of those some bananas um, some pink lady apples these are our favorites right now I mean of course Honeycrisp are our favorite but they're pretty pricey so the Pink Lady are a nice substitute. We have a head of lettuce. We have a pack of strawberries and we also have a bag of onions. We needed those. All of the ones that we had were going bad. We only had like three left but they were not usable. I think that I said bananas already, but here we go. We have some bananas. We've been really trying to eat more fruits lately. I got a couple of uh, orange bell peppers. I ordered green, but I got the orange. Walmart I had to make a substitution. One gallon of milk. We don't buy milk as much anymore because of the price and just because a couple uh, people in the family are having some issues with dairy, so we're kind of cutting down on that, but there still are a couple people that like their milk. So we got one gallon. We got a a jar of hamburger dill chips and some cottage cheese. I do buy the hamburger dill chips just because I feel like they last longer than the spears. So in this order I also have a couple loaves of white bread just for sandwiches and toast in the mornings, things like that. I have one brick of cream cheese um, I have some of the mini ham, diced ham, which I like to use in soups and whatnot. We can still get this for around $3 and something, so I feel like it's economical to buy that and use that as a meat option. I have a half a pound of this um, turkey. I can't remember what kind it is. Oh, just oven roasted turkey breast. It was 6 7.68 a pound so we just went with a half pound of that and I also got some other uh, meat we're making club sandwiches so the turkey will be on that as well but I mean that's pretty expensive for deli meat I feel so it won't be the star of the show we got some more parmesan cheese and like I said the smaller pack of the black forest ham that'll also go on those sandwiches so it'll all even out two different flavors there we always need grated parmesan cheese so I just picked up some to have on hand because we were down to about a half of a bottle in the fridge. I seem to be backtracking a lot, sorry about that, but we are going to use this cottage cheese with some pineapple as a side dish as well. So that's that. And then moving on, we're going to look at um, a couple boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese that is something that the kids love and so it'll be used up in no time of course and then I am just craving some pancakes and so I wanted strawberry syrup this is the great value brand I um, usually get smuckers but times have changed <laughs> so I also got some stone ground mustard it was 98 cents and since I do a lot of sandwich nights then i figured I wanted to have that on hand because when I do make that meal planned I will already have that in my pantry and won't have to make a special trip to get it. I got a couple boxes of pasta in the back there as well as three packs of the 38 cent taco seasoning from Walmart. We needed some granulated garlic so I grabbed two of those. And I will just empty those into my big bottle 
and then I needed a can of tomato soup. This is something I don't keep on hand because none of us really care for tomato soup, but I'm gonna use that in a recipe, so I needed that. And then we also got some of these heat and serve smoky links to go with those pancakes. And I figured that would make a really easy um, weeknight dinner just to have breakfast for dinner and these all you have to do is heat them up in the pan and then I just got a jumbo size pack of those just so that we would have extra in the refrigerator if we wanted to have them another day or for breakfast or whatever and so the price of ground beef was a little better at Walmart than it was at Meyer when I shopped last week. So I got two, I mean, I got a few, maybe three or four, I can't remember, maybe I'll show here in a minute, but these are the two and a quarter pound. Okay, looks like I got three of those. So that'll, um, we'll use those and then I'll also put some in the freezer to have later on. I do have uh, some of the items I bought from last week's grocery haul still in stock so I feel like um, I'm doing pretty well in this little grocery haul here is mainly just a fill in we do have to fill in our fruits because that's what we've been having for snacks lately and I'm not going to cut back on those things and I know that it's easier and I can get more bang for my buck if I buy a brownie mix but we are liking the fruits so that's better for us and I know there's a lot of sugar in fruit too but it's still those bananas I can throw in my bag for work and have as a snack in the morning or as a breakfast and I don't have to worry about prepping it cutting it up it's already in a wrapper I don't have to wash it so I mean there you go what are the benefits of a banana is that it's portable food and it's tasty it's sweet so anyway next I'm just getting a couple of things prepared ahead of time for the week I figured since I had all of these onions I would go ahead and get them chopped up and that way it would save me time on a work day when I don't feel like chopping onions I mean sometimes those little things are what can really stop you in your tracks and take away all your motivation to cook dinner after you've worked all day or whatever or even just if you haven't worked all day on a day off I don't always feel like chopping onions and peppers so on this day I figured before I put them away I would just throw them in my food chopper and then stick them in a bag and just set them in my <clears throat> sorry excuse me set them in my refrigerator so they're ready to go all week and then you know if I have too many I can just throw them in the freezer and you can still use them after they're frozen just I grab them out of there and just throw a little handful into whatever I'm cooking anyhow moving on just a little bit of prep going on here. I did also clean up and diced up my um, strawberries and I did put those in the freezer. Sometimes you have to freeze your foods just to keep them safe till you're ready to use them. If you have kids or hungry husbands or wives even, <laughs> I guess you know what I mean. Um, so that was just one of my tricks this week was getting a few things done ahead of time hiding them out in the freezer or just having them in my fridge so they'd be ready on the meal plan for monday is homemade hamburger helper and green beans tuesday i had to work so it was a planned takeout day Strawberry pancakes were planned for Wednesday night's dinner. On Thursday's menu is ham and lentil soup. Crock-pot chicken fajitas are on the menu for Fun Friday. Saturday we have birthday parties and party food, so no dinner is planned. This was kind of a shorter week for us, but I think it was a good one. If you had fun here today, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos in the future. Bye for now.